hello guys welcome once again in the previous video we have learned how can we use a combo box and uh, in this video we are going to learn how can we connect our combo box with our database so for that purpose what I need to do I'll just go to the source code of my form and uh, from the very first line of, of sorry for the very first function or class whatever you can say I need to create a function here there uh, it was not present before I have written it now so inside this after this public form 2 and before this uh, private void this is the event for a button so button 1 or whatever you can say so before that event and after this form 2 public you need to create a function of void type so I have just copy pasted the previous one so I made a function named as void uh, name as combo sorry and uh, having a characteristic void so if you are familiar with the void function then you will know that void function does not return anything so inside this function I need to write a code and uh, if you are following my previous videos you will know that I have uh, taught you how can you insert data into your database and uh, how can you update data in your database and how can you delete data in your database uh, using these three buttons and using your front end so I am going just I'm just going to copy one of the code from here let's say from the delete button what I will do I will just copy paste this code from here Control C and uh, I am going to go back to this void combo function that I have created and in this function I am going to paste that code like this so the code will remain the same but I will uh, make some changes like in the query I am going to delete the whole query because I don't need that so I will write another query like uh, select static from database that is my database name dot table name that is employees in my case and uh, just just you need to write this select static from database dot employees and what you need to do you need to remove this message because I don't need that anymore so I will delete that message and after that what I am going to do I am going to write a while loop here and inside this while loop I am going to pass this this is basically mysql data reader variable and uh, i am just going to write here r dot read that is basically the read function here and uh, i'm just going to put parenthesis on and inside this while loop i am going to introduce a string name as whatever s1 or s2 whatever you can say uh, let's say I have already introduced uh, s1 s2 in my program so let's stick to s string s is equal to and uh, now I am going to use that mysql data reader variable as r dot get string yes this function and this is basically the string function get string function to get the value from mysql data reader inside the database so now what i am going to do i am going to pass inside this the column name whatever i want to uh, show in my combo box let's say i want to display these names in my combo box 
so for that purpose I am just going to write this e name uh, under double quotes here so I will write here I will put double quotes here and I'll write here e underscore name uh, either you write it in uh, you know small letters or capital letters it doesn't matter because SQL is basically not a case sensitive language unlike C sharp so after that I am going to write just one more line in this while loop and uh, it will be and after that I am going to see that what is my combo box name so my combo box name is combo box one so let's copy this and I'm going to go back to my code and here I'm going to copy paste that combo box one dot I am going to write here items dot add that function I have already used in my previous video so I will recommend you if you have not watched my previous video please go and see it and after this I am going to pass this string string s through this combo box so what if it will do uh, it will read the data that are variable until and unless it gets a null value when it will get a null value what will happen it the this while loop will ends okay so first so for example I'm gonna give you a simple example this e name first when the while loop will run it will take this John name this name John and uh, in the second time it will take James and so on in the end at the seventh time it will take Andrew and next it will see it is null then what happen this while loop will terminate so inside this add I am going to pass this string so it will keep passing the e name values and it will keep adding these values to this combo box so now just it will uh, the string will be passed through this combo box and it will be stored in combo box so now I'm pretty much done here with my code almost so the next thing you need to do is just to copy paste this name and you need to pass this name you need to write this function name right in this public form to put a semicolon here okay sorry you need, don't need to write void you just need to write here combo like this so that is basically used for a function call what happened that's uh, initialize component it will initialize the form and after this what it will do it will execute this function that means it is executing this whole code here right here all right so whatever is written inside this combo function void combo it will be executed right here so we are done here so let's run our program and let's see what we have on our output so just I will start building my program and uh, it is running and it is you know making my system ready to run the program and uh, it runs here so I will log in using my credentials so when it will log in it is telling me login successful so I'll press OK and now I will just click on that and I will see that all the you know names have been displayed in this combo box successfully so let's match it with our database and uh, let's see you can see John first name is John and here first name is John James and then James Peter and then Peter Usman and then Usman Mark and then Mark so you can see all the names have been displayed so let's say I want to display these these passwords for example in in here combo box what I will do I will just change a single you know 
value here i will just write here e pass sorry i have to uh, stop debugging and after uh, after when the debugging will be stopped i need to write here oops there i need to write here e underscore password so when i will again run my program and uh, when i will again log in log in then what will happen just look at the database and just look at the combo box it is displaying me now the passwords one two three jam pet lmn mar wri and and you can see the whole password column has been displayed in my combo box hope you have enjoyed today's video thanks for watching and please rate comment subscribe and bye for now